Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away and it's now 2020, it's a new year and there's a new content coming to the channel this year. Now if you've watched the last two videos, you've probably noticed I've got a little toy in the background which is uh, on the go at the moment, printing away, I've got myself a 3D printer. It's actually a Creality 3D printer, uh, it's the end of free model and uh, I'm really impressed with that and I am delving into the uh, world of 3D printing, so uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm doing first. Now the end of free retails almost two hundred pounds. I believe it's on Amazon at the moment. I have put a link to my Amazon store because I put it in the Amazon store as well. Uh, I've never used a three D printer in my life. So uh, when I got the offer to buy one from uh, another YouTuber, a guy called Matthew Bean, he's got a YouTube site called Beanie's Hobbies. Uh, I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can click on that, but uh, check out his site. Uh, I was amazed, he's got like seven 3D printers on the go in like a hobby space in his house. And I'll tell you what, it was a geek's paradise. Uh, everything I looked at, I thought, yep, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. And um, if you watched my videos from last year, you'll realize that I really wanted to get a 3D printer, mainly because I was aiming to build an R2 D2, uh, but I can't just go straight in and build a full size R2D2 with a 3D print. I thought I'd just get a small one just so I can learn the basics and uh, print something that can actually fit in the man cave. So, to that end, um, I did some test prints. Now, when you buy the Ender 3, you'll get a little memory card with all the uh, files and stuff you need to set it up, uh, but you also get a test print and you get to print this dog. Now, I have painted this, let me just show you, looking just like that, and that was my first print and I have painted the eyes and stuff uh, and he just sits there uh, doing nothing as a matter of fact I gave this to Mrs. Wilder of Wayne uh, so she can uh, uh, put this on her bookcases that she's got like 10,000 of but uh, I thought that was quite a good print now the first thing that went wrong for me was that I hadn't leveled the bed properly now I will show you how to level the bed in future videos but uh, basically the extruder was too high on the bedding plate so by the time the filament came out it had cooled and it wasn't sticking to the plate so once I fix that as you can see I'm doing a lot better prints so the second thing I printed oh it's not washed out there on the white to show you on this camera uh, was an owl once again for Mrs. Wilder Wayne, just to get my confidence up, this is printed with PLA, so uh, that's my uh, filament of choice at the moment. I, ha I do have other filaments, but uh, once again, I will be talking about filaments in a later video, because there's plenty out there when you want to do prints, and I'm learning all of this all by myself. So, I had two prints under my belt and I thought, right, let's get on with it and build something that I want for the man cave. And if you've watched all my live streams again, you'll know I've been cracking on for ages about building Vincent from Disney's The Black Hole. Uh, this was an iconic uh, robot to build and to be honest with you when I was a kid uh, if you look here I was collecting all the uh, sticker cards and the bubblegum cards for this uh, I love the movie and I fell in love with Vincent and Bob his uh, counterpart in that movie um, so imagine my surprise when I found a Facebook group and again I'll link this in the description uh, where they've got the STL files of files available for this now STL files are what's needed to actually import into a program a splicing program in this instance I use a program called Cura to give the information to the printer of how to print it. Now those SDL files were created by someone called Ian Hughes. So I'm gonna give Ian Hughes full credit for this and uh, he is available on that Facebook group and you can see the files that we've got there. But uh, as you can see by these blueprints here, uh, here's a front picture of the uh, Vincent with all the measurements that we're gonna be doing. And here's the side picture of the uh, Vincent robot with all the measurements as well. And obviously this is printed in parts. So I decided the first part I'm gonna do will be just the front section of the eyes, the ears, uh, the little eye pupils and uh, the eyeballs if you like. Uh, and that's what I started printing. So I started the printer for uh, about two days now and so far this is what we've printed. This is the middle head unit. Now the eyes are gonna be going into this section here uh, but as you can see, this was a perfect print and I had to create supports with the Cura program just inside here, which I'm not really going to file because you're never going to see that, um, just to make sure this overhang didn't fall down. I'm thinking if I was to have printed it this way up, just like that, I probably wouldn't have needed supports, only probably at this section here and here. But I'm still learning that about which way to na navigate that in the Cura program. And again, in later 3D videos, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the second thing I printed was the eye plates. 
and these look like this. Now what I have done is I've just put a little R and L so I know where they go. And basically if this is the uh, the um, uh, middle face plate here, this one will basically just go in like that. And I'll show you on that camera as well. Which means if that's the right one, I'll try and hold that in. The left one, exactly the same, will be going into the other side just like that. And now straight away, you can see how Vincent's head is coming together. I've still got to do the top half of this and the bottom half, but what I did do then, the last thing I've printed is just the little pupils that are going to go in the eyes. Now I've still got to file around this here. Uh, you do have to tidy these prints up and I will be painting it later, but basically these are gonna be going in just like that. They're actually gonna be pushed in a little bit further than they are there, but looking like that for the pupils. I'll put the other one in as well, just to give you an idea of how this looks. There we go, and that's how that's gonna look. So, we've got two eyes on the go, and at the moment, we're printing an ear. And obviously, we've got an ear for both sides. For some reason, the SDL files do separate the left ear to the right ear, so I don't know if there's some subtle differences in that. Even the pupils of the eye had two different images. So again, I don't know if there's any differences to that. Um, but I mean, I knew Ian Hughes had some of these SDL files out quite a few years ago. Uh, and obviously they've been updated since then. But uh, when I saw that, I thought, you know what? That's definitely the first thing I'm gonna build. At the moment, it's on the printer with some PLA, uh, 1.75 mil. Again, that's in my Amazon store. And there's only 200 grams on there. That's what uh, it comes with. I believe that's actually like your beginner's try before you buy sort of uh, filament. I've got a one kilogram ordered, uh, and I believe that's 365 meters. Now, when you do Cura and you splice it, it will tell you how many meters of filament you're gonna be using for that print. Uh, the print I'm using at the moment here is gonna use eight, eight meters. Did I say millimeters? Eight meters of filament. So, uh, but 365 meters on a, on a one kilogram score, that's not to be sniffed at. So uh, I hope you like this first delve into the world of 3D printing. Uh, what I'd like to know is what you'd like to see. Would you like to see the things I'm printing and how I'm putting them together? Or would you like the more technical side of it of how to level the bed, how to load the uh, filament, how to change filament, how to use different sorts of uh, filament? So uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from this series going forward. Uh, but as for now, this will be the first video of me building the Vincent uh, robot from the black, Disney's the black hole. So uh, I can't wait to get cracking on getting this painted and sanded down. Anyway, listen, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.